Introduction to Windows 7 Students, by the end of this lesson, you will be able to identify the desktop, label the parts of desktop, hide the desktop icon, change the Windows theme. Children, before going into the chapter, let us recall about what we have learned in the last lesson, that is about operating system. What is an operating system? An operating system is a type of a system software that manages and controls the working of a computer. Now today, in this lesson, we are going to learn about Windows 7, an operating system in detail. Children, when you switch on your computer, it starts booting. After the process of booting, you can see one screen is displayed on your monitor. That screen you call it as your desktop. To your left side, you are able to see few pictures. These are called as icons. To your right side, you are able to see few more pictures. These are called as gadgets. And gadgets are always on to the right side of the desktop. At the bottom, to your left corner, you are having a start button. And to your right corner, you are having a notification area where time, date are displayed. And that entire line at the bottom, you call it as your taskbar. Hiding the desktop icons. To hide the desktop icons, we have to follow few steps. That is, right click on the desktop, click on view, click on show desktop icons to uncheck it. Icons disappear as you uncheck the show desktop icons option. Again to reappear in the desktop, when you click on the show desktop icons option again, you can see the desktop icons back. Gadgets. Gadgets are small programs of Windows 7. They provide information and are fun to use. You can choose which gadgets to keep on your desktop. They are displayed on the right side of the screen. Taskbar. The long bar present at the bottom of the desktop is called taskbar. On the right corner of the taskbar, you can find the system clock, which displays the current date and time. Beside the system clock, it is called as notification area where you can view programs and tasks that are running in the background. Beside the start button, you call it as quick launch icons. These icons are used to open programs quickly. Start button. Click on the start button to open the start menu. It displays a list of options. The start menu can also be used to shut down the computer by clicking the shut down button. Click on all programs option in the start menu to open a list of programs. You can go back to the start menu by clicking on the back option. We can add any programs from the start menu or all programs menu to the taskbar as quick launch icons. For this, we have to follow few steps as mentioned here. Open start menu, right click on the program you want to add, select pen to taskbar option or we can also drag any program icon from the start menu or from all programs and drop it on the taskbar. The program icon appears on the taskbar. Click on the quick launch icon to open the program. To remove the program from the taskbar, right click on the program, click on unpin this program from the taskbar option. Changing Windows theme. Theme is the look and feel of an operating system. Changing the themes of windows changes the desktop background, window color. Let us now learn how to change the window theme. Right click on the desktop, click on the personalize option. A window opens. Click on a theme of your choice. The desktop background displays the selected theme. So children, Today, you all have learned how to hide the desktop icons and to change the Windows theme. Thank you.